YouTube, how y'all doing? Tecmo back again with the review on the Soul Republic's Amps Air. And I used them enough now. I think I have some information I can give you guys so you can make an informed choice if you decide to pick these up. So, one thing that I forgot to show you guys in the overview is this compartment right here. Now, this is where you charge the case itself. Because remember, the case has to be charged in order to charge the earbuds because they sit in here on these little protrusions right here and these are what charge the earbuds so and one thing that is good to note is that you don't have to fidget with anything on these all you do is sit them right there and let them go and it's magnetic so as soon as it gets close to the little protrusions there it will suck these right into the station and start charging them so that's a good feature. You don't have to fidget with anything. You just sit them right there and they'll start charging them. And you don't need to buy a cable for this case. It's included in the package. And you plug it in right there and it'll start charging the case. And this right here is where you would plug in your USB to charge your iPod or your iPhone or your Android. Whatever that can be charged via USB. This pack here has a 2200 milliamp hour um, capacity so it can charge anything up to that capacity so that's a good feature it shows you that when those three LED lights light up it shows you how much charge you have on the case itself so as for the sound quality on these they sound really good the bass doesn't disappoint it's not overwhelming but it is there you can feel it and I'm surprised at how much bass these little guys push out because there's not much to these earbuds they're not heavy and they're not very big but they have very good sound I have no complaints on the sound with these earbuds now one thing that you guys should note is that there are only two buttons one on each ear pod, earbud sorry and you can't do much with those buttons. You can't turn the volume up or down. You can't uh, skip to the next track or go to the previous track. All you can do is start, stop, or pause and play, pick up a call, or hang up a call. There's not much that you can do with these. So if you're using these hoping that you can have all the functionality of earbuds where you can pause play and change the tracks and change the volume you're not going to get that with these because that's not something that these are capable of now that does take away from them because these were going to be my gym uh, headphones but you know that just means you have to pull your phone out and do a couple extra things but the sound quality is very good so if you can get over that I think that these are a good choice for you because they're very lightweight, they feel good, um, they do stay in my ears better than other ear buds that I've tried out, but they don't, they're not foolproof. Once I start sweating, they do slide and they do, I have to fidget with them a little bit to keep them in, but they haven't just all, all together fell out of my ears yet. So I am happy with their performance in the gym. Now, that being said, I'm not going to keep these as my gym headphones, uh, but I am going to keep them because one thing I was curious about was if you had to use both of them at the same time, and you don't. You can use one earbud in mono mode if you choose to. That is a capability of these headphones. You can use them in mono mode. You can have one in your ear and have one in the case if you want, or you can have both of them on. It's up to you, but it's... A capability that they have you don't have to use both of them if you don't want to so I'm gonna keep them for other reasons to use at work or while I'm around the house things of that nature because I do like the way that they sound um, but at the gym I need to have the controls I need to be able to change the volume or change the song without having to pull my phone out because you know how it is when you're in the gym and the song comes on that you don't really want to hear. You want to be able to tap a couple times and go to the next one. 
And with these, unfortunately, you can't do that. But I would say that these are a goal. Um, if you're considering getting them, try them out. See if, you know, they're for you because I think they're a lot, there's a lot of value with this being the case you can use to charge on the go. And again, the LED lights show you how much charge the case itself has. So I think Soul Republic did a great job with these. As long as they are reliable, you know, I've only had them for about a week now, so I can't tell you if they're going to last for a year. But as far as right now, if everything goes the way it's planned, um, I think these are a solid set of headphones. And on average, I've only depleted the battery twice on the case. On average, it took me about an hour to get this back to full charge. And you do get the three hours that these claim to give you of playtime. Um, I went to the gym a few times and I did get the three hours each time that they were depleted. It did take about, it might have taken three hours and 15 minutes for them to be completely depleted, but it wasn't anything under the three hours. So I do give them uh, kudos for providing accurate stats on that because I did get accurate stats on how long these actually stay charged for. So if you have any questions that I didn't address in this video, leave me a comment and I'll try to answer it to the best of my ability. But again, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate you coming by and have a great rest of the day or night, whatever time it is. I hope this video helped you make a better decision if you're going to cop these or pass on them. So thanks again.